Hello everyone, welcome to our one year plus update on this uh, Z-Line system. Now in my last video I kept calling it system and a lot of people kind of gave me a hard time for that. So I'll go ahead and give it the proper name, the range and the hood. Uh, now we're going to make this uh, rather quick uh, to kind of, you know, not waste your time. Up there is the range, I'm sorry, the hood vent and I have no complaints about it it's perfect um, everything I said in my original video still stands right now um, you know it works perfectly it is loud but that's expected right I mean that's that's just the way it works uh, so that one we're not even gonna touch I'm gonna tell you right now I have absolutely no problems with it one thing I didn't tell you though is that these little guys right here uh, you know you can take these off and you can put them in a the dishwasher and it cleans them that's pretty cool but other than that, everything is still the same. No problems whatsoever. This guy here, let's start getting a little bit into this guy. Uh, so, you know, the short version of this is uh, it works still pretty well. Uh, I have a couple of little annoyances, uh, but overall, I would probably buy this again. Uh, one annoyance that I have is that once in a while, this little, or I'm not, I shouldn't say little, but this big burner here, uh, you see how it's not turning on? I'm not really sure why, um, you know, I kind of have to mess around with it and kind of, I don't know. I don't really know why it doesn't turn on. Um, you, know, you have to bring a igniter here and just kind of put the flame there and then it works just fine. Um, but that is annoying. Uh, once in a while it does turn on though, I have a feeling it has to do with this piece here. Uh, that's the piece that arcs to the uh, metal piece here to turn everything on. Uh, but you know, it's just it doesn't work. So that's annoying. Uh, but when it does work, then it behaves just like I when I got it the first day. Um, all the other burners still work just fine. So see, I'll turn this one on. See, that one turns on fine. Uh, this one here turns on fine. This one here turns on fine. That one turns on fine. And then this one here turns on great. Now you might be noticing that, you know, why is your range, you know, so weird looking? Uh, what are these pieces here? These are actually protectors. Um, I don't remember what the material is, but we got those on Amazon. Uh, they protect the top of the range here, and they work very well. We have absolutely no complaints about them. Of course, you can see they're a little worn out. They've been in here for about, I don't know, uh, six months to a year. <laughs> I've honestly lost track, but it's very easy to clean this range. You just take those off, clean those, and then put them back, and, you know, absolutely no problems whatsoever. Uh, these little guys here, as you can see, they are definitely wearing. Uh, you have all of these spots here. I'm not sure how to get rid of those, how to clean those, but I guess after a year of usage, that's I guess that's what you expect. Uh, you can probably see that, you know, maybe somewhere over here. See those spots right there? Looks like it's chipping a little bit. Again, I guess that's what happens when you use this thing for uh, a year. I'm not a person who is, uh, you know, a professional in this field uh, that seems maybe a little premature but like I said maybe that's what they all do I, I really don't know um, so we just to give you an idea we are heavyweight cookers right we cook almost every single day we very rarely eat out so this thing has been used almost every single day uh, and other than this annoying issue here and under other than you know the looks of those pieces it works flawlessly um, and, you know, like I said, I would probably buy this again because of how it works. Uh, other than that, though, there are a couple of things here, as you can see. I don't know if that's very visible, but there's a little brown spot there. Uh, I'm not sure how to get rid of that, so I just live with it. I'm sure there's a way to clean it, but I haven't figured it out. If anyone has a recommendation, that would be great. But it looks to me like, you know, that's not coming off. Um, most of the stuff here, as you can see, this is all just dirt. Um... It's pretty clean in terms of scratches, um, very little scratches for this thing. Um, so yeah, uh, for one year plus, it has been doing very, very well. Uh, the knobs here, you can probably see, are perfect. They have no imperfections whatsoever, uh, so that's good. They don't feel cheap, as I stated in the first video, so that is awesome. Now, let's talk about the oven here. The oven is uh, the, sort of a controversial topic on these ranges. Um, I have the oven on right now, and I don't know if you can hear it, but it is kind of spitting out hot air, okay? 
I have it set to 400 degrees there, so you can probably see that. Uh, and the reason I'm preheating it is because in my last video, I didn't tell you this, but it does blow out some hot air. Uh, and in this video, I kind of want to answer the question, you know, how much does it blow out? So how hot does it get at 400 degrees Fahrenheit? That seems to be the kind of average temperature for most things, right? 400 degrees. Uh, and also, uh, you know, are there any uneven spots in the oven? Uh, so to answer that question, I do have a thermal camera that we are going to use, and hopefully that will give you your answer. So let me go plug in the thermal camera, and we'll see what it looks like. So give me a second. All right, folks. So here is the thermal image camera uh, that we have. Uh, and as you can see, it seems like the hottest spot is right below the oven door there. Um, so... It's actually not blowing any air from down there. Where the air comes from is actually right here. Um, and if we point our uh, camera here, it seems to indicate that the temperature coming off of this thing is about 100 and about 160 degrees, give or take. Uh, so it is blowing out hot air at uh, you know 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so it's basically a heater at this point. Uh, now, the amount of air is quite significant. I can definitely feel it. Uh, and if I leave my hand here for too long, uh, you know, it'll probably take a while to toast it. But yeah, I will get pretty hot on my hand. So let, just to kind of show you there, see that you can probably see that on my hand, uh, how much heat just came onto my hand there. Um, so it is blowing hot air. It does do that. And as you can see at 400 degrees, that's how much it gives off. So you can expect this thing to blow that type of air now in terms of hot spots are there any hot spots so this thing is preheated uh, so let's open the oven uh, and see just what it looks like on the inside with the thermal camera if there are any cold spots or hot spots uh, we probably will be able to see them so let me open the door here uh, and as you can see that's what it looks like let me kind of lower it a little bit more so that's what the profile of the oven looks like there uh, it seems obviously that the hottest part is at the bottom. That makes sense. Uh, maybe in the top right corner there, it could use a little bit more. But, yep, it seems like this top right corner is a little uh, in need of heat there. So it is a little uneven, but uh, that gives you a good idea of the profile for this range. Is it uneven or even? I'll leave that for you to decide. All right, folks, so hopefully that gave you an idea on the thermal imaging of this uh, range. Uh, and, you know, let me give you my final thoughts. Overall, I would buy this range again. It works very well for us in terms of baking and cooking, other than that, you know, burner over there once in a while being annoying. Um, yeah, it works very well. And for the price, I mean, it's, it just looks phenomenal, right? And... It performs very well. Uh, I will probably contact Z-Line about that burner over there, but I'm probably out of warranty, so I don't think they have an incentive to really fix that. But who knows? You know, they, they did reach out to me when it came to the noises that this thing made and for the leg. So, you know, we'll find out and I'll keep you updated on that. Uh, but yeah, um, those are my final thoughts. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I will try my best to answer them. Uh, if you have uh, any other questions, my first video might answer them for you. Uh, but thanks for watching, and hopefully uh, this kind of gave you an insight of whether you should purchase it or not. Have a good one. Bye-bye.